In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We have many people to lift up to God in prayer today, many intentions suggested to the parish. God in his infinite power can take care of all of them. The parish intention is for Kathy and John Keeney for the repose of their souls. We're also praying today for the repose of the soul of Jason Adriano and Leo Moineur. Finally, I believe some of you know, uh, was that we were notified yesterday that our bishop, Bishop Kevin Van, has tested positive for the COVID virus. Fortunately, his symptoms are mild and he's able to uh, be at home, taken care of at home. I'm sure those of you at home and those of you here at church have other intentions that we recommend to Almighty God. Oh, I'm sorry, one more. Pray for Sally Murphy's brother, Thomas O'Hara, who passed away yesterday. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring all of us one day to life everlasting. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. <coughs> Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs. When tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in this time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish in this time and, and fullness, fullness of, of peace, peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice, Justice shall flourish in this time and, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and, and fullness of peace, peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. 
In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in this time and fullness of peace forever. Proclaim now the good news to God's people, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. O wisdom of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia. Yeah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram, the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, Solomon whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, Abiud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Achim, Achim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations and from the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 40 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the most famous biblical scholars of our day, I think he's deceased now though, is Father Ray Brown. And he has spent much of his life working on what we call the infancy narratives, the early part of the life of Jesus. And he has two interesting comments about today's gospel. 
The first is, is kind of simple, namely that Matthew was writing for a Jewish audience. And in this genealogy, he is trying to show to his Jewish brothers and sisters that Jesus is from the royal Jewish line of Abraham and of King David, also King Solomon. So that is one of his attempts in doing this. The second thought, though, of Father Ray Brown is far more interesting and intriguing because he says this, there are four women in this genealogy. He says, which is rather rare in Jewish genealogies, and especially rare because they're not the holy women that could be mentioned. Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, they're not mentioned there. Instead, are four Gentile women, four Gentile women. And one, Rahab, was a prostitute, was a prostitute. Now, what does Ray Brown say about that? Matthew is trying to show us that even Jesus was born out of a family pattern that was not all perfect. Not all perfect. Some people not of the Jewish religion, some people living very immoral lives. And yet, Jesus could be born in that setting. And that the lesson, the biblical lesson of uh, uh, Matthew is this, same with you and me. I, I don't know about you, we could have a lot of fun after Mass if we sat down talking about the characters in our family ancestry. Now, if you don't have any characters, uh, I do. And we could probably, with stories, beat one another with, with saying, you know, how, how crazy some of our ancestors were and are. Still, Christ can be born in that mess. And so we pray on this uh, weekday of Advent that Christ again may be born in you and me despite the mess we often find ourselves in. My little story today, I haven't been to Vietnam now for a year, so I'm running out of Vietnam stories. Now you have to pray, by the way, that I go back soon, as soon as I get vaccinated. No, my story today is the St. Joseph Hospital Dialysis Center story. You know, I'm on dialysis, I was there yesterday. There is a little Vietnamese nun, forget her name right now, Sister Fong, uh, who comes around. She's a sister of Divine Providence. She comes to visit me. She's a Catholic chaplain intern. But there's also a Protestant chaplain intern, a Korean gentleman. I think it's Mr. Cho. And uh, he always likes to come by to see me. He knows I'm a Catholic priest. So he came by yesterday afternoon. And I said, I try to be very respectful to him. Chaplain, would you give me a blessing? He looked at me and he said, excuse me, I am Protestant. You are a Catholic priest. You are asking for my blessing. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think you are a holy man. I think you can invoke a blessing upon me. Let's close by saying this. We all can be a blessing and let's be a blessing today. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand as the deacon leads us in the prayer of the faithful.
As we prepare our hearts for Christ's coming, we present our petitions to the Father. We pray for all members of the church. May the light of Christ remove all darkness and sin from our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the justice and mercy of the Holy Spirit guide them in their service to their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families and communities whose members are estranged from one another, may Christ bring them healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the grace we receive this Advent help us to bear fruit during the Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially those suffering from the COVID virus, and especially our Bishop, uh, Kevin Van, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, may they receive their final inheritance in God's kingdom, especially Jason Adriano, Leo Monier, and Thomas O'Hara. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intention of today's Mass, which is the repose of the soul of Kathy and John Keeney, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For that special intention we each have in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father, many are our needs, but infinite is your power and infinite is your love. So we stand before you here this day with great confidence, asking your blessing upon our petitions through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth is given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Dear goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. May what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We offer our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right. right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For Jesus assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, at, 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 at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. 
so with the angels and the archangels, thrones and dominions, all the powers of heaven, together we pray, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and to willingly and to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, the auxiliary bishops, the clergy, all your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in this Mass today, we are praying for the repose of the souls of Kathy and John Keeney, of Jason Adriano, of Leo Moineur, and of Thomas O'Hara, as well as all the departed, dear and dear to all of you. Welcome them, Father, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, following divine teaching, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. It is not a temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, 
the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and the blood of Christ bring all of us one day to life everlasting. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven, to hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God make you if we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, ask him to help Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended now. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks. Do you want to give, give me a note?